Today we're back to playing some actual Pokemon for what feels like the first time in a while. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today, well, we have a special request. Lone Wolf on YouTube asks if we can do a Torterra single prize deck, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Thank you very much, Lone Wolf, for not only the support, but the video suggestion. So let's get straight to it, but before we do, Please, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. I never understood why I say don't be afraid to. Who's afraid to click the subscribe? Anyway, <laughs> just if you could and you have a second and you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, uh, bell notification, leave the video a like and a comment. Those are all things that tell YouTube this is a good video and other people should watch it. Speaking of really good things, I am now affiliated with Dragon Shield, which means if you're in the market for Pokemon TCG accessories, or really any TCG accessories, you can use the link in the video description to buy amazing Dragon Shield products. I get a kickback and that allows me to make more and better content for you guys. Now, with all that out of the way, let's go hop over to PTCGO because I'm a noob and have not migrated to PTCG Live, even though that's a thing for some people. And uh, let's look at single prize Torterra. Here we go, here's the deck list. The main focus of the deck is, of course, Torterra with the Evo Press attack for just a grass and cause. It does 50 damage times the, never, uh, times the number of evolution Pokemon you have in play. So you can have up to six Pokemon in play, which means you could be doing 50 times six, which is 300. And if we add a Choice Belt onto that, Choice Belt is a new card, from Brilliant Stars that the attacks of the Pokemon that this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's V-type Pokemon. Remember, V Pokemon include Pokemon V, V Star, V Union, and V Max. So we can theoretically hit a Pokemon V Max or really any V Pokemon for 330 damage, which is enough to knock out almost any Pokemon V Max. The only one we will not one shot is of course Eternatus. What makes this so, I shouldn't say so easy because I haven't tried it yet, but one of the ways that this can be a little bit more consistent is Grotal, or Grotal, I'm not really sure how it's said, but it has the Sun Drenched Shell ability, which once during your turn, you may search your deck for any grass Pokemon you want, reveal it, and then put it into your hand. So this is a really good way to find extra Grotals, and then you can use those Grotals to kind of cascade, get more evolution Pokemon in play. It's a really good way to find your Torterras, and it's also a really good way to find your Cherums. Now, Cherum is going to be your energy accelerator for this deck. It has the Spring Bloom ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach, attach a Grass Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that does not have a Rule Box. And so a Rule Box is a Pokemon that has a special rule, Pokemon V, GX, uh, eventually sparkling pokemon they all have rule boxes so we can start attaching energies from our hand to our torterra to our grotals as you know get them ready to attack and evolve into torterras we could even theoretically attach them to b burrow here if we need to retreat but b burrow is not an attacker it is just a bench support pokemon industrious in sizes is a great ability once during your turn you may draw until you have five cards in your hand now this is great because we're going to be using things like Grotto to get cards, but then just kind of immediately play them. And we also have the brand new Ultra Ball so that we can discard two cards to find any Pokemon we want. And as we thin out our hand, we can start using that Bibarel to kind of fill it back up and do the things we want. We do have Evolution Incense, Level Ball, and uh, to help find different Pokemon. And of course, we have Rare Candy, which will allow us to skip over an Evolution Step if we need to or really want to. We don't necessarily have to because again, Grotos here do count as evolution Pokemon and we can use Grotos to find other pieces that we're missing. Like I said, we can find those other Grotos, Torterras, or even Cherums if we need. One of the things that allows this deck to kind of exist in the current format is Manaphy with the Wave Veil ability, which protects your benched Pokemon from the attacks of your opponent's active Pokemon. So with Wave Veil in, or Mana Feet in play, your opponent can no longer damage your benched Pokemon, which means all these kind of weaker, fragile, single prize Pokemon are protected from single strike, uh, from Rapid Strike, Urshifu's G-Max Rapid Flow, and Jolteon's uh, Max Thunder Rumble. However, you are not protected from Dragapult. So Dragapult has an attack, and I forget exactly what it's called, uh, Max Shred or Max Phantom or something like that, 
where it does 130 to the active and then your opponent puts five damage counters on your bench however they want. There's a difference between damage counters and like, placing damage counters and doing damage. So Mana Fee here prevents your opponent from doing damage to your bench. G-Max Rapid Flow, Max Thunder Rumble, they damage the bench. But something like Quick Shooting, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon's Headbutt Tantrum, and the Dragapult attack, or the Dragapult V-Max attack, all say to place damage counters of Mana Fee does not stop that so do keep that in mind uh and we have a random copy of empoleon here because empoleon once during your turn if this pokemon is in your discard pile you and you have no cards in your hand you can just put this pokemon onto your bench and if you do you draw three cards which is a nice little way of drawing a few extra cards and it's a free discard with something like ultra ball so we could just dump it with ultra ball now it's in the discard and as soon as we don't have any more cards in our hand which probably won't be that hard to do i don't actually know uh but between things like playing all these Pokemon and using Ultra Ball might be feasible. We just get it onto the bench and it counts as a uh, as an like a bench evolution Pokemon because we don't actually have to evolve the Pokemon. We just need to have evolution Pokemon in play. It's a nice way to just kind of cheese a Pokemon into play if you need. But between our three Grodles and our two Charms and our three Beeborels, we're probably going to be okay in terms of damage. And now one of those bench spaces does potentially have to go to mana fee so you might reduce your damage output by just a little but against those decks like jolteon and rapid strike urshifu they're going to need that turn to bring up your mana fee anyway so you know you might get a free attack in okay fine they start hitting your bench and then you get another attack and ko uh, and we do have rescue carrier so that we can get that mana fee back in case it does get knocked out or we have to discard it for some reason then we can put two pokemon with 90 hp or less from our discard into our hand and then just go ahead and bench set mana fee again and force our opponent to deal with it a second time we have two copies of ordinary rod again for the same purpose we our pokemon start getting knocked out or we have to discard some energy or whatever we can get them back with ordinary rod as far as draw supporters go we do have bruno i do really like bruno in these kind of decks because you're expected your pokemon to get knocked out and bruno says that you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw four cards however if one of your pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn then you draw seven cards instead so it's probably going to be happening fairly frequently and so we get to draw a bunch of new cards we do also have cynthia's ambition which says draw until you have five cards in your hand however if one of your pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn you could draw until you have eight cards in your hand instead so we have a lot of ways to draw a bunch of cards right hand can only be used if one of your uh, pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn but it lets you attach a basic energy from your discard to one of your pokemon and then search your deck for any card you want extremely powerful especially for a deck like this we mentioned choice bolt already a couple of capture energies so that when we especially for the early turns we attach a capture energy and we can get a basic pokemon in play and start to build our bench full of turtwigs and cherubis we really only need one cherub in play uh, but we can also use it to get Beeborel and uh, or rather bidoof and that's pretty much the whole deck so let's see how it performs going into game one and i would like to start off by saying one I, just because I play this deck poorly or if I lose with this deck, it does not mean it's a bad deck. I just, I don't have a ton of experience with single prize decks. It's not usually what I play. And I also haven't played this deck and I feel like some single prize decks often need a little bit of help um, or a little bit more skill in piloting to make sure that you are taking the appropriate steps. But this one seems fairly straightforward, at least in its plan of get as many torterras or at least grotals out as you can and then just start hitting for fairly big damage so we're going against some type of rapid strike deck uh we are going to go ahead and get a turtwig looks like we benched uh, we prized one and we did not prize any torterras which is nice and we do have our mana fee if we need uh we do see a uh a Remoraid, which means it could be either Rapid Strike Malamar or it could be Rapid Strike Urshifu, could be Sylveon. But we're going to go ahead and get the Turtwig. And we will attach an Energy here. And that's it for now. I want to save this Ultra Ball in case they do throw down a Rapid Strike Urshifu. Um, although if they are playing Path to the Peak, I'm not sure what this... I mean, it might be Rapid Strike Malamar. They're going to go ahead and Marnie straight off the bat. It's not the worst 
Uh, we can just rare candy into a Torterra now, which is pretty cool. But we... Oh, Rapid Strike and Talion. So we do kind of want that Mana Feed because they do bench damage. And they're going to go ahead and pass. They missed the Energy Attachment. We get it, which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and protect our... We're going to protect our Turtwig there, but we don't have any draw support, so that's really, really tough. Um... A little unfortunate. We might have had some plays there last turn. We could have got the Grotal to get him a little Turtwig. That was probably the ideal plan. Although, I guess, you know, Marnie... Marnie makes you change your plans. They're going to go ahead and... Uh, Evolution Incense probably find an Octillery, if I had to guess. And now they can start Rapid Strike searching for Rapid Strike Energies. Attach them to the Inteleon here and start making some moves. Can they get this Octillery out of the active though? There's the Rapid Strike Energy. They attach to the bench. Did they have both Sobbles last time? I thought they only had the one. So they can't Drizzile. I only have one card in my hand, so they're probably going to get that Drizzile out next turn, unless I can really get a nice top deck. Um, we're going to attach to the bench here. We'll go ahead and get Manaphy. And that's kind of all we can do. At least, at the very least, our bench is protected from damage. Like I said, our opponent can place damage counters. And this is... Really unfortunate. This is where that Empoleon really kind of hurts. We do not want it when it's the only card in our hand. Um, even if we draw into an Ultra Ball, we, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, we, we need... This is where, like, Quick Balls would be really nice if we just had a Quick Ball. We'd just be able to discard this, get it onto the bench, draw a couple cards, and then... And then the boss's orders up my Mana Fee, most likely. It's probably what they're going to do. Rapid Strike Search for the VMAX. I think they just put down. I think that puts damage counters on. There's the scoop up net. So yeah, this is. They're gonna boss up the mana fee, take the KO, and now my bench is free for the picking. And I don't really have any evolution Pokemon in play. But I, so I'm going to be doing 50 damage. All because of that Marnie. That Marnie really hurt me. But now we can at least Cynthia's Ambition for 8, which is very nice. So if we Ultra Ball away 1 and 2. And we Ultra Ball away 1 and 2. Or I can... Alright. I have an idea. Ultra Ball 1... Two. Uh, one, two. We'll go ahead and get a B bro. We'll play it. We'll Ultra Ball. One, two. We will. Oh, no, I meant to get... Hmm, I messed that up. Put the mana fee back. Uh, I meant to... I didn't want to... I should have got rid of the Raihan. Alright, whatever. We can at least... Industrious and Sizes for... Four cards. We hit a Choice Belt. That's pretty nice. Uh, well... Industrious in sizes for two. Hopefully we can get like another Turtwig or something. We get a Cherubi. That's not bad. And there's really nothing I can do for now. So we'll just have to Evo Press hit for 180. I don't think they're going to be able to take the knockout. And they only have 170 left. So we should be okay to two-shot them. They're going to keep their hand, 
Uh, we're we're going to keep our hand, rather. So we will be able to get a Cherum next turn. Which is, uh, a ch uh, yeah, Cherum, which is kind of nice. But we don't have a second attacker. And I do not like that. So they're going to be able to put 40. Oh, man. Yeah, they're going to be able to put a lot of damage counters. They can easily just take out this Cherubi right now. Keep me from getting a Cherum. But they're going to go on to the Torterra. I s and they will be able to knock it out. It's going to do 140. Oh, no. They're going to be 10 shy. Oh, boy. That was close. That was close. Uh, so we'll Evil Incense for Cherum. We'll go ahead and uh, Bruno... We'll only get the four. That's okay. Man, I really wish we could just get a Turtwig. Like, where are all my Turtwigs? And it's... And, well, Industrious Incisors for two. And let's Evo Press. And now we're in business. There's a turret wig, that's nice. Okay, okay. If they knock this out, as if we can, oh man, if we can keep this hand, that would just be fantastic. Let's see, hopefully they go with a Brawly or Corinna's Focus or something. Then we can rare candy, evil incense into a Torterra. We can Rihan. I'm obviously going to give them a Bidoof. They can knock out the Bidoof, that's fine. God, this is so annoying. There's the build a Drizzile again. Hopefully they don't get a boss and knock out my Turtwig. That would be really annoying. That'd be really irritating. Oh, of course. All because I couldn't find the Turtwigs earlier. Yep. So and so stupid. We'll put up. We'll put up this Bidoof, I guess. At least now we can bench multiple Turtwigs. Um, we'll attach here. We'll Rihan to the other one. And we'll get... I guess an ordinary rod. What do I have in the discard? I have two Turtwigs and a Torterra. So yeah, we'll get the ordinary rod, I think. And then we'll we'll use it. And we'll do both. We'll put these uh, and we'll do one and one. So I just gotta knock out one more V Max. And I wanna make sure that I have I want to make sure that I have the Pokemon like to to actually do it. Uh, and I guess that's all we can do. So next turn, we'll be able to Evolution Incense for a Torterra Rare Candy Grodel. So we're, we're okay. It's just not having the Choice Belt kind of hurt. Maybe I should have saved... Oh, if I Bruno, I would have lost the right hand anyway. That Marnie before really killed us, and that boss really killed us. And of course, we're playing a deck that does damage counters. Do I want to knock out the Cherum? I don't think they can double Gunner though. Uh, I mean, they have to have a water energy in their hand to knock out the chairman right now. So best they can do is 
So maybe they can knock out both of these. They get the Drizzile. Sure, why not? They get a Cheryl. Um, and they'll just take the Bidoof. So give them a Turtwig. We'll go here. Sun Drenched Shell. We'll go with the Torterra. We're going to candy that. And then we'll Bruno for eight. That hand is so big. Well, Manaphy is not going to really help too, too much. Um, I don't have the energy to attack. Where are all my energies? So maybe I need to find like, energy. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to charm my Cherubi, I guess. And that's it. I can't even attack. The most I'd be able to do is... I won't be able to take the knockout anyway. They have... They're just going to win this. They're going to be able to knock out this Cherum. Uh, and if they have a boss, they can just knock out the Mana Fee. So... Really nothing I could do with all these quick shootings. It's just... It's too much. And I don't have a way to disrupt their hand. So... Maybe instead of having both Bruno and Cynthia's Ambition, we just need one and the other can be Marnie. And then they do just win this next turn. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Even I, I can't one-shot them. So they just win. Going into game two, let's see if we can fare just a little bit better. Uh, it might be up against a single strike deck. And if we are, well, we can try to take advantage of weakness in their Umbreons if they decide to play them. So that could be some easy prizes. There's a, Tur Tur a Turtwig. That's not bad. Um, I guess, right? We can get the Grotal next turn with the Turfield Stadium. I'm not going to bench this yet. Let's see what they're playing. Single Strike. Okay. So we'll go ahead. We'll go... Level ball for a. We'll go here. We'll get another turret wig in case this gets knocked out. We'll go level ball again for a. We'll go Cherubi. And then we will pass it off. So if we can get an Ultra Ball, I don't need Mana Fee this, this game. They're not going to be doing any bench damage. Um, so an Ultra Ball would be really cool. Of course, they have the Battle VIP Pass. Why would they not? When I play it, I seem to never have it. But sure, when my opponent plays it, they have it all the time. Uh, if we can draw an Ultra Ball, that would be pretty great. Because then we drop Turfield Stadium, play Evolution Incense, Ultra Ball these two for another Pokemon. And then boom, there we go. And Polion gets cheesed onto the bench. So... Our opponent has the Ultra Ball. Can we get one? That would be lovely. Because then we can go Turfield Stadium. And we're able to evolve all three of these Pokemon. Could be nice. Could be nice. Discarding the Tower and uh, a Marnie. There's also always a chance that they Marnie me anyway. Oh, they're playing a Gengar single strike. I guess they're... Started, oh, and they're going to go attached to the Gengar Crobat for five. Let's see what else they can do. They haven't used the supporter yet, but after Crobatting, they may not. So they're definitely not playing Umbreon. They get rid of the, the Professor's Research and Amarni. Interesting choices. They must have some good stuff in hand. 
Uh, but they, they're, they're set. They got the full bench. They're ready to start wailing. Now, the benefit of single strike is that they're going to be easily knocking out my Chort Terrors. However, they can't use Fear and Panic, so they're probably going to stay two prizers, and they're going to be damaging themselves with uh, Pain Explosion and also Single Strike Roar. So it'll make it a little bit easier for us to take those KOs as well. And they're going to boss's orders up a Cherubi? Turtwig? Okay. So we'll go Evo Incense. Turfield Stadium. Evo Incense. We'll get our Grotal. Probably could have saved that. But I guess if we have the Turfield and the Grotal, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll go ahead and get a Turtwig. Get it onto the bench. Go ahead and get a... I guess we'll get another Cherubi just to thin the deck out a little bit. And then we'll pass. Again, no energies, no supporters. This is... This is one of the drawbacks of a fully single prize deck that if you don't find your draw supporters, you are in a fair bit of trouble. Uh, I don't have the benefit of Luminion and Crobat V to help accelerate or draw extra cards or find the things that I'm missing. I just kind of have to hope I hit them. And sure, I have the Chairman play, but with no energies, it doesn't really matter. So this is a little bit of a problem. Ultra Ball will be... Pretty good here. Again, it would have been good last turn too. I could cheese that Empoleon, draw a couple of cards, maybe find a, a draw support. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just kind of living off top decks. I am surprised they dumped their Tower of Darkness. But they're going to go ahead and switch into the Gengar and put me to sleep, most likely. They could Pain Explosion. Take, out, take the KO. But sleep is pr well. They, they might be digging for those hound dooms. Digging for those hound dooms. You can see that discard of the ultra ball. So single strike gets a little bit more consistent with ultra ball, uh, being able to ju just discard cards to find any Pokemon you want, whether that's hound doom or your V's. Uh, pretty useful. And I feel like if they had the Hound Doom, they probably would have played it. But they might be trying to calculate how much damage I can do with the Evo Press. Which it wouldn't be a lot. It would just be a hundred. They find the Hound Doom. So do they accelerate? Unless I can get that Empoleon in play. Would be that would be cool. Then I can be hitting for 150. And if they accelerate. And Pain Explosion, that might be enough to knock them out. They get the Mana Fee. Protect their little Hound Doors. Path to the Peak. That's okay um, that they got rid of Turfield Stadium because we do have Grotal in play. So we can use Sun Drenched Shell to find our Torterra. If we can even attack. And I, I because I don't have any options, I kind of just have to... We wake up immediately, that's kind of nice. We get a Bidoof, we'll throw that down. We'll get the Torterra. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna make them... I'm gonna make them do a little bit more. This is the worst. <laughs> uh, this is just very, this is like worst case scenario for a single prize deck. Can't find any energy and no draws. So like this is, this is really bad. Um, is it my deck construction? Yeah, maybe Marnie, like I said, Marnie last game would have helped a lot, really reduced my opponent's options and energy search would be really, really helpful right now so that we could start attacking. I would, you know, be able to do stuff. 
I can use Charm's ability to attach to the active if I wanted to and start making plays happen if I was able to get some energy. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at at the moment. Not looking super hot. I'm going to force them to either use Dark Slumber again or damage themselves further with uh, Pain Explosion. And they're going to start to power up their other Urshifu in the back there. Trying to just buy myself a turn. Maybe I can find a Cynthia's Ambition or a Bruno. Um, that would be very nice. I would not mind a research either. And we wake up again. Cynthia's Ambition. There we go. Um, but... Can't find anything really off of it. Maybe I should have played down a Cherubi or a Manaphy or something. And we'll throw down the Charms just so I can... The Cherubi so I can get that other Charm in play. Uh, maybe I should... Uh... <laughs> Then there's the question, should I have saved that Cynthia's Ambition to draw until I have 8 this next turn? Because they're going to take the KO on this Torterra. All their single strike energies are accounted for. So I'm not sure. I mean, they have to just take the KO here, right? Yep. Come on, top deck Ultra Ball. Top deck of Grass Energy. Not exactly what I was hoping to see. But at least we can go here. We can Evo Press. Hit for 150. 20 damage. Uh, not 20 damage. We, we are one Evolution Pokemon away from taking the KO there. That would have been fantastic. They're going to VMAX. There's just nothing like this has just been a very bad game, a uh, very bad showing of what this deck could do. Just not having good draw. It happens from time to time. There's the Grodel. We can Sun Drenched Shell. We can get a Torterra, but all they have to do is retreat into the Urshifu and attack a knockout, and then that's pretty much game. So. And then I still don't even have another energy to attack with because I can't find anything. This has been the most unfun game I've probably played in a very long time. Just I'm just sitting here passing every turn. So they're gonna retreat into the Hound Door. Okay. All right, we got a Bibarel. Finally, we can maybe make something work. Drop the Mana Fee, and we'll. Industrious in sizes for four. Finally, we get something. Rescue carrier. Get some more turtwigs. That doesn't matter. They're going to G-Max swallow up anyway. But we'll take a prize. They'll still knock us out. Choice belt would have been great uh, 20 turns ago. I mean, we're just going to lose. We, we are just going to lose, and it's going to be a very slow loss. So we'll be able to drop the choice belt onto this Turtwig. Empoleon is a nice idea. It just, at no point, like, it's it's so hard to do. Like, it seems like a really good idea. Like, oh, I just have to Ultra Ball it. But you also have to have no cards in your hand. And it's like, all right, that's possible. You Ultra Ball it at one point in the game, or and then later on, turns out, oh man, I have if I play my cards right, I can have none in my hand and get that employee on. But not only do you have to have it in the, in the discard pile, but you have to have no cards in hand, and you have to have a free bench spot when you have no cards in your hand to get that employee on out. And that's just like, it just doesn't happen. So, I 
We can go. I still don't even think we'll be able to make it happen. Because I have no energies. So I have to like literally draw into two energies right now. And I do. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're just going to knock me out with Urshifu next turn anyway. And we'll go we'll go to Turtwig. And we can Evo Press. Do enough damage to take a KO here. More than enough. And we'll get three prizes. A boss's orders isn't bad. Rat Candy is nice. And a Bruno is also very nice. So. They have to have an energy. In order to. I mean, they can rack hand, uh, the earn a vitality to get that energy back into the deck. And then. Single Strike Roar, which is a very good possibility considering that they have a massive, uh, what is that, nine card hand or eight card hand. So really, really possible. But basically all I have to do is knock out a Crobat, which we have 150. If I can keep this Torterra or get another Torterra, there's the Single Strike uh, Roar coming. So... Oh man, this is going to be close. They have to attack with the Urshifu here. And they have to go Impact Blow. So basically, I just have to do 180 damage. I'm pretty sure both of my Choice Belts are in the discard or will be after this. No, I still have one more. And they, okay, so there's all their energies again. Can we pull this out of our butts? Impact blow for the KO. We're going to go ahead and spring bloom onto you. And then I'm going to... Technically, I could, but I have to use the Bruno. I have to find, you don't get the red candy. Uh, we'll do both. Get those energies in, try to like, maximize our chances of finding stuff. And we're going to get a Grodel. We're going to Ultra Ball. Those two, we're going to fail it. Get Empoleon out. Draw three cards. And get the rare candy. Draw two. More rare candies. Ah, oh, man, this is such. So, uh, what are the odds that I had the rare candy and I had used. I had to play the Grodel, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get any of this out. I kind of just have to go here. It's a little annoying that I can't rare candy on top of that, but we'll see what happens. There's nothing at this point. There's nothing I can do. If they knock out this Grodel, then they pretty much just win. But they can't attack with Impact Blow, so they have to evolve into an Urshifu VMAX or Hard Retreat and attack with Gengar. Those are the two options they have. 
And it looks like they're going to hard retreat, attack with Gengar. They have an urn in their hand. So basically, once I played that Bruno, they knew they are going to keep that urn and they didn't have to worry. And there it is. There's... Man, that's so constantly just one piece away from like, being able to win. Last game, this game, uh, that's so annoying. That, that's, that's like the, the fate of single prize decks, I feel like. Especially these stage two decks. You are just always a piece away and just couldn't make it happen. So uh, they're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I don't think... I'm going to have to send up something, but I have no way of retreating it because I haven't seen a switch or an air balloon at all. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. We will have Cynthia's Ambition. Of course, I have all my rare candies now, so that's been fun. Um, just the luck of the game, I, I guess. <laughs> it, it just, this is what happens. So we'll put up a mana fee. And we'll Cynthia's Ambition for two. Can't even do anything because we have no Tartwigs. And that's game. So it's been uh, a nightmare. So there you have it. Single prize Torterra. It can work. It's, it's just not... Oh man, maybe again with some changes, finding those evolution incense and finding energy, uh, maybe instead of energy retrieval might not be bad because then you get those energies from the discard back into the hand, which you can then use with Charm. That's not a bad idea. Energy retrieval is a decent option. Maybe Marnie to kind of reduce your opponent's hand and, and uh, is a good option instead of both Bruno's and Cynthia's ambition. I try to be kind of aggressive with getting my hand up as big as possible to maximize my chances of finding rare candies and Torterras and, and getting energies in the hand so I can use Cherum. It just didn't, it just didn't happen. That's, you know, maybe if I keep playing, it will and I make those changes. But at the moment, not a big fan, like I said. It's just, it's kind of like that piece away you're always like looking for that one thing that you need and you just can never seem to find it at least that's my experience with single prize decks anyway especially stage two but that is going to do it for us today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed found something a little informative if you did subscribe like comment share all that kind of stuff tell youtube this is a good video other people should watch it and if you're in the market for some tcg accessories why not use the link in the video description help me out which allows me to help you out the definition of a win-win as rick kakis would say but yeah, uh, that's going to do it for now, and I will see you next time.